Ah, the Winter Solace. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. It's when the sun is a little lower, you know? It's a little cooler out. Ah, but we know what's coming. It's gonna be, it's gonna be brutal weather. The brutal weather is coming, all the plants die. I take a deep dive today, Marcus Conti reporting. Deep dive into the psychosis of online, what I'm gonna call alt, alt truth. Alt truth cyber reality. Mm. That's where you are right now, did you know that? You're living in an alt truth cyber reality if you're watching this show. And you have been for about a year and a half. You're part of a study to understand internet psychology in the eyes of a master psychic. <laughs> Marcus Conte reporting. So, the, the, the truth, when I go to a political rally, and I've got, been to a few and I've advertised those, not advertised, but uh, showed you those rallies and the people at those rallies. Uh, when I go to a political rally, do you ever see me film the, the uh, rock star on stage? The, the politician? Or the politician's handlers? No. I don't even stay for the politician, I leave. It's, the, this, the, the story is in the people. The story is in the voters, the people in the audience. What, does, what is in the mind of the voter? What does the voter think? What does the voter think who has been attracted to the politician and hasn't heard the politician speak yet, or at least hasn't heard him speak that day, what do they think? What do they think about the politician? Where is their psyche at? So about a year and a half ago, not even, about a year ago, a, uh, uh, a young woman died, a woman in her 50s died in Washington, D.C. Her name was Jen Moore. And she was a close friend, com competitor, confederate, whatever you want to call her, possible girlfriend of another YouTuber, George Webb, the infamous... Washington, D.C. conspiracy theorist, Word Salad George. Uh, and one night she died, alone in her room, allegedly. And there was a, there was a, a story by the conspiracy theorists, put this, you know, wild, wild story together that she had died at the hand of Bill Clinton for exposing the rape of a young boy. She was murdered, they said. They killed her. They shot her with a heart gun. They snuck in the window and shot her with a heart gun while she was sleeping. Woo! What a theory, right? So I got involved. I, 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 do, I cannonballed in. I wanted to see what was going on. Wait, what was, wait a second. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. I worked in law enforcement. I know what I'm talking about. I was like, wow, she got killed? Really? And then it turns out it was just a farce. That it was just a, upon further investigation, it was just a woman who, who was stuck down a rabbit hole. Who believed in, in a puppet master named jo, uh, George, George Webb. Who George Webb was going to solve the, all the problems of the world. He was going to rid the, the world of the spy ring in Congress. And, and the Iwan brothers and, the, and the, the, the uranium traveling on cargo ships. And he was going to solve everybody and everything. Right? And she believed that and assisted in that. And further down the rabbit hole she went. Not even three months ago, a young man named Anthony Camillo, right here, in, right across that bridge in Staten Island, shot the, the boss of the Gambino crime family. And I've covered it extensively, the QAnon killer. We should call him the Q-LARP killer now. 
right? Shot the, shot the Gambino crime boss dead. Because he believed that the crime boss was involved in a deep state syndicate operation to, to overthrow the President of the United States. And he showed up on his door to make a, a citizen's arrest. He was going to arrest the Gambino crime boss. <laughs> and, and then when the, when the crime boss resisted, he shot him dead ten times. He shot ten bullets into his, into his body and killed him. This is where it can lead. Are all the shootings that we see in the country, a lot of them, whether 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 modus operandi is young white male, uh, is that is that really is that where it stems from? Is what I'm trying to say. These um, rabbit hole type online internet communities, cults. Yeah, I'll call it a cult. Cults. Um, group thinks. Group think. Group, you know, think tanks of people getting together and 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 co-signing each other's insanity over and over again to one of them explodes or kills themselves or or kills somebody else or encourages someone to kill somebody else becomes a shooter is a shooter in in, in waiting. And we see the, the, the cyber stalkers, the cyber hacks, the lawfare addicts, people addicted to paper, filing paper, lawsuits, suing. I'm going to sue you, you motherfucker. Addicted, scare, fear, fear. You're going to fear me, you motherfucker. I'll sue you, motherfucker. I'll bomb you with my 800 emails a day, you motherfucker. I'm going to get you. Fuck. That's scary. Scare me. Oh, I'm so scared. So scared. Out in the truth, one is safe. Out in the truth. The truth is where safety lies. I have, I have no syndicate. I have no people behind me. I'm just one man with a joystick. Walking the park with his joystick in his hand. Out in the public for all to see. I don't lie in fear. I don't lie in, in, uh, in deception. Although I have put out quite a number of videos that are designed to really make you think about some of the relationships that are going on. Hey, for whatever reason, I'm, I'm the guy that they're, these, these um, LARPsters enjoy LARPing, trying to co-op my, co-op my message. <laughs> when they don't realize that they have the, their, they've had their, they've had their foot in the, in the, they've had their foot in the trap now for about a year and a half, and they still haven't figured it out. But you know, you give you give your enemy enough rope to hang himself. <laughs> Never interrupt your enemy while he's about to make a mistake. So, so I've been mixing up the storylines, right? Could it go this way or that way? When I'm standing here, it could go that way, or it could go that way. Which way does the story go? Which way did we come from? Did we come down this step? So we go up those. Or we come down those steps. Can we go up those steps and down these steps and down the other steps? Or maybe we'll run up the middle and go up the grass. One or the other. The fork in the road. Where the story, the truth, is the truth this way? Or is it that way? Or is it a combination of the two? Each of us has a truth. Each of us believes a truth. All the players you see online believe a truth. What do they? They profess something, but is it truth? My assessment of doing literally thousands of psychic readings and 
being a clinician for a while and I don't know for whatever reason investigative reporter you know sanitation cop my perception of people is that they're generally uh, uh, incapable of telling the truth being truthful to themselves first looking inside and saying this is who I am this is what I believe people most people are in, uh, incapable of doing that and quite frankly you shouldn't be doing this if you can't do that you shouldn't be putting yourself on camera if you can't do that if you can't be honest with yourself you'll fail or you'll kill yourself or you'll kill somebody else so is there a universal truth is there real truth yes do does everybody believe that they're on to the truth I don't know about that because there's a lot of, like I said there's a lot of crackpots out there right now this is a study of people that's what this is right? it may be boring to some people some people are, are, are born uh, bored by it they're saying oh Conti you take us down this down this this ride of people we don't really know but it's interesting because the people in this storyline that I talk about the LARP LARPville all have overwhelming substantial evidence on the record in video form that this reporter saves all of it all of it and can pick and choose and and cut together and and review and submit at any moment everything that you've ever said is documented in the world of YouTube whether you like it or not whether I like it or not everything I say is documented and I don't hide from it everything that I own every I still have every single video that I've ever made and every video on YouTube is with the exception of maybe I don't know 15 or 20 that YouTube knocked down every video I've ever made is, is still up even the stupid ones and me singing Frosty the Snowman all of it it's all up I don't hide I am who I am right? I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but I'm, what I'm trying to say is that someone has to police the the field. Somebody has to be responsible for the field to police it and make it a safe place for people to come and share their thoughts and watch videos and have fun and maybe form, formulate a community around it somebody has to do that but and who are we policing we're policing the, the 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 predators the people that get into your personal business not mine who cares I don't have personal business I'm all public but people's personal business their assets their psych psychotic so psychosis <laughs> their mind their family their jobs those are the those are the real dangers People that use fear to uh, affect other people in an adverse way to to try to get a response. That's what it's about. Right? Again, Jenny Moore, death, the QAnon killer killed that man. Now, some could say, "Oh, he's just a criminal. One criminal wiping out another criminal." Well. That's one way of looking at it. It's not a good way. You know? Are the Gambino crime crime family, are they criminals? Yeah, they are criminals. But that doesn't give some psychopath the right the the uh uh abil uh, uh permission to go and murder somebody. It doesn't. It doesn't at all. Right? So do we perceive the world in the, in the same way? Do you see what I see? When you look out at that bridge, is it the same to you as it is to me? I know what I see. I know what it is. I know what I see in front of me. But how do I know that you see the same thing? 
I don't. I have no idea. No two people know what the other person thinks or sees completely. For all I know, you could look out and see something beautiful where I see something tragic. Or you could look out into the world and see something tragic and I see it as beautiful. See what I'm saying? Right? People see a beautiful animal. You know, a wild, uh, you know, a beautiful cow and her calf snuggling, uh, you know, out in the grass. And other people see it as food, a hamburger. Or I, I pass by and I see a deer run through the woods. And I say, wow, what a beautiful deer, what a beautiful animal. May you live a long, prosperous life. And others see, let me grab my gun and shoot him. Or even more specifically, what colors do you see? Is my shirt gray? Or is it, to, what is gray? What is the perception? How do I know that you see it the same way? There is no evidence. There's no evidence, no scientific evidence at all to suggest that two people know what the other person, how the other person perceives the world in front of them. We can only, we can only gauge it by how those people act, right? How they act. Now people don't want, people don't generally want, want for um, many different things. People want health, wealth, and, and uh, health, wealth, and love. Those are the three main focuses of a psychic reading. People come in and they're going to ask you about how, how's their health, how much money am I going to make, my, my, my money, and, and my love. Where's my, where's my love or lack of? How's my love or lack of my love? And then, people, and then when you talk about it, people say, oh, oh my God, how did you know that? I hope you enjoyed that clip with uh, Marcus Conti, Marcus Goodwin, the psychic investor. That's a lot of work that went into that. How many people could say that they were on, you know, main, main you know, nightly news with with uh, <laughs> with Rudy Giuliani and and Cardinal Cardinal O'Connor who died <laughs> at the. At the Society of Security Analysts on Wall Street giving a talk about psychic phenomena as it pertains to the stock market. How many people do you know that could do that? Well, I ever did it. That that recording, by the way, where I'm in the uh, in the in the conference room, that's the World Trade Center. That is um, that is two World Trade Center. I believe it's the the the, the second building, the first building that got hit. 25th floor maybe 22nd floor I don't remember but that's where it was that was 19 that was 1999 or 2000 I believe it was March 2000 so it was one year before 9 11 <laughs> that all <laughs> that room is gone that room is in rubble got knocked down but but anyway I mean that's you know that's where I come from so like I said I'm no rookie to I'm no rookie to uh analyzing psychoses and psychology and this is what I do I don't know what you do but this is what I do this is who I am and this is who I've always said I am I never said I wasn't anybody somebody different a LARPer live action role play no I'm not live acting anything I am who I am it's just to some people it's so unbelievable that it can't possibly be true <laughs> and then in that rise 50 people want to say it's bad and to the people that are are cut off from commenting here well that's your fault you know it you can only hurl so many insults before it it it, it reveals that that's all you do is you know hurl insults and try to change the narrative if that's all you are then go somewhere else right because it's it's and I don't and I think a lot of the people that have been blocking a lot of them like I don't know like it's now like five five six seven a day uh, have to be 
block, but I don't think that they're actual people. They're just sock accounts. They come at you with the same narrative, with just a different name. So a lot of the people getting knocked off. And if I accidentally block, you know, accidentally delete your your uh, comment, it's just a lot of times it's just an accident because I'm moving fast. But uh, for the most part. We have to block the sock accounts. We have to block this this um, urge to to uh, change what is true online. What is the motive? Right, what is that motive? Well, we know there is a profit motive. In the case of, for example, um, Schwagger versus Goodman, we know that there's a profit motive. We have a a deranged plaintiff, angry. With his hand in some rich, rich Jew's pocket from from Chelsea, he's got his hand in his pocket, searching around, trying to see how much money he's got, right? Making up all kinds of shit, ready to, you know, ready to hang himself in a courtroom. Yeah. Or, or just fame, a quest for popularity, which is which is really my motive, to be honest. That's all really, that's really all I strive for is just to to have have a say in world events this is not all I talk about psychology of the of the internet this is just one topic I talk about everything yesterday I was talking about uh, you know Trump and the war, the war he's about to start in Iran and and uh, mayor de Blasio dropping out of the presidential race or the rigged primaries or you know on the scene with war you know Elizabeth Warren just this week in the park, or Bernie Sanders, or I, I wish Trump. People say, "Why don't you, why don't you cover Trump?" No, well, fucking. Why doesn't Trump do a rally in New York and I'll cover it? Right? Somewhere close, Jersey, somewhere. The fucking guy never comes. He doesn't come here because he thinks he doesn't have an audience. He's mistaken. Or just because you can't win New York, you turn your back on it. Stupid, right? But this is not the only this is this is important because this subject of alt reality, alt truth, what is the truth is very important because in 2016 we saw the stealing of an election using alt truth. Trolls, cyber bullies pushing a fake narrative to sway uh, political discourse sway pu public opinion. It's very powerful and very um, relevant. Not everybody is doing that. Not everybody. I know it's easy to say, "Oh, he's a he's a troll." I've been I've been accused of being a shill and a troll and a and a, I am a troll of sorts. You could say Conti is a troll. Is Conti a troll? Am I trolling people? I don't know. I don't know if that's if that's accurate. I'm trolling people for the truth, which is what a journalist should do. I don't know. I don't know anything about journalism. I never went to took a class in journalism. I don't even think I ever looked the word up. But 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 what is trolling trolling for for a negative response? That's not something I do. You know. So I, I hope that was helpful. I, I know I'm in the in the deep grass right now but so I'm going to continue to you know release some of the videos that I have again all of the players in this I have them they're all well documented they're all um, <laughs> significant file of, of stuff and you could see how how their narratives change over time to suit their selfish their selfish motives I've always said it they love you now and then they hate you 10 minutes later when, when you don't respond in the way you're supposed to respond, Conti. Fucking do my, do my bidding, you motherfucker! <laughs> so anyway, it's a Saturday in New York. It's beautiful weather. It's the fall. Ah, out, out smelling the the air, hanging out with the squirrels, checking out the bridge, making sure it's still here. It's going to be cool soon. You got to enjoy it, man. I was at the beach the other day. Beautiful. Crashing waves. 
spiritual, very, very connected to nature, you know. That's the most important thing. Stay grounded in stay grounded in the truth, yeah, but you have to eat right, you have to exercise, you have to you have to quiet the noise down in your head. All people experience noise. It's all in, in the Buddhist tradition it's called monkey mind. It's where the where rather than paying attention to the whole the whole experience in the world, everything outside of us and inside of us, we focus on one thing, the thought flow. And because the internet is a, a cesspool for polluting the thought flow, the people will pollute your the flow of thought and turn it negative. People that are not trained correctly, and most 95% of people walking around are not trained at all in in learning how to settle the mind on all things, disperse it across all experience, not just the flow of confusing thought, contradicting thought, and trying to think you could figure it all out, because you can't. You just observe, that's all. Thought rises, thought falls. You observe, but you don't, you keep your attention 50-50. 50% in, 50% out. Don't miss what's going on around you. That's, that's advanced, that's an advanced mindfulness explanation of it. But quite simply, when you're confused, know that you're breathing, follow the breath. When I breathe in, Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva warrior. When I breathe in, know that I'm breathing in. Know that I'm breathing out. Know that I'm walking. Know that I am. Marcus Conti reporting.